What's up guys, this is the Legit Strategies here, and today I've got my first class setup on Advanced Warfare. So for my first setup I decided to go with a submachine gun, just because a lot of people say they are weak and can be easily outgunned, which is very true, and I'm assuming Sledgehammer are going to buff the SMGs at some point and make them better, but for now this class can be used to good effect as long as it's kept to its strengths. Submachine guns allow your operators to move faster, aim down sights quicker, hit fire with better accuracy and the obvious high rate of fire. This makes them work best on maps that have more short range encounters. So now I'll get into the class. The primary weapon is the ASM1. A lot of people have been saying the KF5 is the best subby, which has left a lot of the other subs unnoticed. However, in my opinion, the ASM1 is just as good, if not better. Although the KF5 has better range, as a sub I'm looking for close range gunfights. The Tommy Gun lookalike has the highest damage in its class set. And firing over time increases the accuracy and lowers the fire rate, allowing it to contest further range. The ASM-1 has a very good ammunition capacity of 45 rounds in each magazine, and with the starting ammo being 45 plus 135, you never really need to worry about running out of ammo mid-gunfight, or whilst trying to survive. Personally, I use the Elite version of the weapon that I got from a supply drop called the Speakeasy, which decreases the damage and range by 1, but increases the fire rate by 2. I don't think that makes too much difference though, and using the default weapon may be just as good. But if you do want to try and get a similar result, you could add the rapid fire attachment. The attachment I've chosen is the laser sight. This allows you to hit fire a lot easier with more accuracy. Although I do have extended mags which comes with the speakeasy version of the weapon and can't be removed. For perk 1 I decided to go with low profile, which makes you invisible to UAVs and tracking rounds. I tend to use this on most of my classes just because I don't really want to be seen on the radars, but on this class I think it is definitely needed because you need to get up close to enemies and flank around without them picking you off easily and finding you. I chose Gung Ho as the second perk, which allows you to hit fire while sprinting and sliding. This works really well in this class just because you need to be really aggressive and be able to shoot instantly, especially in close quarters combat. For the third perk I decided to go with Blast Suppressor, which is kind of a necessity in this game as it makes it so that when you use your boost you won't be seen on the radar, which again helps with flanking and sneaking up on enemies quickly. I then also chose to use a wild card to add another third perk. I use this for toughness, which can come in handy when using a subby, as the gun can recoil a bit already, and if an enemy is shooting you it could knock your aim off. I wasn't quite sure what to use for the exo ability. It was either exo overclock, which allows you to move faster for a certain amount of time, or exo mute which makes your footsteps quieter. Both of these would come in useful for the playstyle of this class, however I ended up choosing Exo Overclock because there is so much noise in the game that it will be hard for enemies to hear your footsteps anyway, and moving quicker can be a big advantage when getting behind enemies. For the Exo Launcher, I chose to go for the two Semtexes, just because I've always preferred them to frags, and it's pretty good to fire two at a time as people can quite easily avoid them, and the second burst of damage might just help finish off an enemy. As far as streaks go, there aren't really many to choose from in this game, and they are quite hard to earn, so you can use anything you really want. I selected UAV Care Package and Warbird, just because I like to try and get lucky in a care package, and a UAV will always come in helpful when I identify enemy players. Anyway, thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like if you have. I would definitely recommend trying out this class, and make sure to subscribe for lots more class setups like this one.